mon frère, mon beau is mon frère. Good morning, folks. It is 11 o'clock. It's actually 12 o'clock because the clock's gone back today. So it's a miserable day outside. It's actually bucketing down the rain. So bro's text me saying, oh, it's too wet for me, bro. I don't want to go out. Can we just stay in today, please? Don't fancy getting wet. And it's all just too wet underfoot. And I just end up with a miserable. I might get a cold and a chill and my asthma and everything. So I said, ah, oh, all right then. So we're just staying in. So what's happening in the Jack household? On a, what happens in the Jack house? Can't even speak properly. What happens in a Jack household on a wet and miserable day? Well, Boiled eggs are on the go here for Rosie. We're having cups of tea. Has that just boiled? Yes, good. Cups of tea. Um, and but, but and I'm just going to go back to bed and chill and watch. Uh, I've been watching a thing called You that's on Netflix. I watched the first two episodes. It's about a stalker kind of boy, but he's, he's good, he's nice, but he kills people, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, but it's, it's good, it's really good. So, he's uh, I'm on the third series, so I'll just be watching a bit of that. Um, I've got some bacon there. I might have bacon on toast unless Rosie wants it, of course. So um, that's basically it in the morning anyway. That's all that happens, really. Um, I bought that thing that uh, yesterday, the clipper thing, the the, the, clip, the grip and the clip thing for the phone. And of course, I'm not using it this morning. My arms have been dead sore recently, folks. Really, really sore. Every time I move it, it a pain shoots through it. Just through the top half. The bottom half is fine. It's just the top half that, that with the bit where the muscle is. So anyway, I've got to keep an eye on this uh, this boiled eggs because Rosie likes them just perfecto. Anyway, see you in a bit. François d'aujourd'hui, voici la famille Bertine et la maman papa, les trois enfants. Et puis à un an, et Marie-Claude et la chatte. Kiki, un, un chien beaucoup. La famille Bertillon habite dans la ville neuve. Ville neuve, ville neuve. Ah oui, dans Villeneuve, et Monsieur Bertillon te bat avec les douaniers, douaniers, avec Ali et Paul, avec Ali et Paul. Beaucoup. Right, folks, well, I have ventured outside now. Uh, the most exciting thing we did this afternoon was we changed the bed. Yes, the duvet and the pillow slips and all that, the under sheet and everything. All got changed, and so we've got stuff in for tea tonight. But uh, I'm just going out to get a French loaf and maybe a couple of beers uh, for myself. Uh, I've got a dental hospital tomorrow morning. I forgot about that, folks. So I've got to be down there at half past nine tomorrow. Uh, so I'll just be up early for that. I hate that when you know you've got to get up early for something. So, I mean, I suppose half nine is not too bad, really, is it? Could have been worse, could have been half eight. But, uh, anyway, so we're off to the shops. Just the local shops down there. Yeah. Got maybe get some chocolate as well. Right, there's the shopping, folks.
welcome to another exciting episode of Jag Lives. Thank you everybody for all your comments and my usual commentators. Commentators, are you call them commentators? Commenters. Thank you very much indeed everybody. Do appreciate all your comments. It's great to have you all here and everybody subscribes. Remember though, if you haven't already subscribed, why not subscribe and give me a like man? It helps the channel somehow. Who knows, everybody says it, so I thought I'd better say it as well. Anyway, uh, today we're off to the mental dental. Yeah, I'm going for my my, uh, I don't know what they're going to do to me today, folks. They'll, they'll lie me down and, uh, you know, open up and prod and do all this kind of measial, desial, uh, occlusial kind of stuff. Um, so it's about, uh, what time is it? About 20 to 9. So my appointments are half past. So, and we have the new tripod grip thing as well. We're using that today. So we'll get that. Um, you know what I had to do, folks? I had to actually screw a bit in there. There's a screw coming out of it. Um, that I thought, what the hell is that doing there? So I had to um, screw it back in again. And the hand, it feels a little bit sort of plastic. It must have been, it moves about a little bit at the bottom there. So I don't know about that. But anyway, we'll, we'll try it out today and see how we get on. So far it's been okay. But as I said, the hand is a bit, look, it's the, the sort of this bit here that makes the tripod bit. It, um, it goes down and it, make, it makes the handle, but it's a little bit plastic. I might have to get on elastic band or something to tie around but that's not the point of the whole thing is it anyway we're off to mental dental right so the walk to the dental starts in tesco car park where you get to think it's three hours yeah three hours free parking so that's ample time uh, to get in the in the dental chair and be out for about, hopefully be out for about uh, half ten. It's about an hour normally the appointment sort of thing, an hour and a half sometimes, but uh, so here we go. Onto the bridge that makes me feel sick. Great start for the day. Yeah, so I wonder if they got a hundred people to stand on this bridge and bounce about. I wonder if the bridge would collapse. <laughs> uh, yes, because even with one person on it, it does even, I mean, I remember, yeah, see, it's starting to shake. I remember Bro was down at one end, and he was jumping around, and uh, yeah, I could feel it shaking, man, it's weird. I think it's to do something to do with the, so when the wind blows, it, it doesn't, um, you know, knock, knock itself over because of the, uh, the force of the wind. You know, if something's rock solid, and the wind comes in, then it will batter and buffer it. But if, it's, if it goes with the flow sort of thing, you know, then it will be, uh, be okay. It's an architectural sort of um, manoeuvre, if you like, you know. Architectural manoeuvre. It's not like a band, doesn't it? hanging on to a dear life look <laughs> one leaf oh there's another leaf at the back there i think but uh yes yeah, it's, it's almost gone crikey one leaf Oh, piano. There's an old piano and it's playing hot behind the green door. Um, I'm not sure what this used to be. It might have been a, a piano bar, an old piano bar. I know it's, it's the back of the, or what they call that, the something halls. I've been in there before to see, um, oh, I can't remember. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? I can't remember the place is called and I can't remember who went to see there. Pathetic. Anyway, I'm sure I'll we'll come back to it at some point. side of it now. It doesn't actually say does it? What it's called. Look at the corners working on that man. Amazing. Sydney. 
here in the uh, waiting room for the x-ray. Uh, I've got to go and get x-rays done on my teeth. I bet my tooth fell off again yesterday. But uh, they had me planned. They had planned for me to go and get the x-ray done anyway. So, um, but the thing is, you've got to wait quite a while at, uh, at the x-ray department. But uh, hopefully I'll get in quite soon, folks, because there's only one person here. Um, and I remember the x-ray is quite, oh, they fucking jam these things in and then go, and you're sitting in this thing like Joe 90, you sit in this thing and you're sitting all alone and, and then they come and think, oh, yeah, so. Anyway, it shouldn't be too long now, folks. And then I'm going to go and get a bake roll. Nice cup of coffee, folks. I'm sitting in the, uh, it's like the electric chair here, but this is the x-ray machine. Where is it? There it is there. It's the x-ray machine we use there. And I had these big bracket things on my face with the x-ray things in it. In fact, there's the bracket there, look. There's the bracket there, look. So, there's the... So, so they go in your, in your mouth and they bring that down and this thing comes across you. It's very manoeuvrable, this thing, and they bring it in and they put it on and they go and press the button and come back in and take it out. And the whole process takes about 10 minutes to do, maybe six or seven of them get around your whole teeth. So it's now we're checking uh, to see how the photographs or the x-rays have turned out and hopefully they'll, they'll be fine and they won't have to do any more. So, and I can get my bacon or my cup of coffee, man. I'm starving. All right, folks, there we go. That's me done. Um, the x-ray woman, Arlene, she's dead nice. I liked her. And the woman who does my teeth, Aisha, also. So, once again, I've come out quite lucky with uh, some nice people, good people that work uh, there. I'm absolutely starving. Right, bacon roll and cup of coffee is required. It's a necessity now. It's gone beyond the point of needing it. It's a necessity now. Remember the beans. Folks, got a sausage roll, <coughs> a roll and sausage, a cappuccino from a place called Baguette in the, uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me, in a place called Baguette. Really good, really nice, good sausage roll. That really tasty. Sausage was cut open, and uh, the roll was really good. Cappuccinos, okay as well. Excellent. It's only four pounds. Oh. Folks, what does Jag recommend on the iPad, on Netflix, or Amazon Prime this week? Well, this week, folks, I've been watching a thing called Huge in France. It's about this French comedian called Gad Emela. Um, and that's his real name in real life, so I don't know if he's a real comedian or not, but <clears throat> it is. It's not French, although he's a French comedian, but it's all in English, so it's okay. And he goes to from Paris to L.A. to try <clears throat> and... Uh, uh, reconcile with his son and there's all sorts of great characters in it the stepson the stepfather sorry is a fantastic character uh he's a brilliant man um and the comedian himself is a good character there's lots of lots of little incidental characters in it it's brilliant um and the, you don't actually see the, the comedian do his comedy out but he's massive in france okay and he comes over to to la as i said but in la nobody's heard of him so he hasn't got any of his his privileges or his perks or you know, tries to get in front of cues and things and all this, and nobody has it. So he's got to reevaluate his life and his priorities and things, right? So it's only a seven part uh, series, but I think there might be a second part to it. But uh, it's just fantastic. It's just a, it's a good little find. It, I, it just said, you know, a uh, huge. I was looking for something to watch and flicking through them as you do, you know, spending more time flicking through them and actually watching the program. And this thing came up huge in France. Give it a shot. Hence the French in this um, this video, Monsieur Bertillon, Es une douane, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so I recommend that, folks. Jack recommends. Jack recommends.
Like a man's huge in France, huge in France. Je compte dans la France. Merci beaucoup, mon ami. Oh,